Hey guys, Shobi here. Welcome to another video. Today, we will be taking a look into how to send emails from our Django application. For this video, we will be using the application that we have developed from the previous video. So I have that opened it in my PyCharm or you can create a new Django installation. Both are fine. So let's begin. We will be having a page in which we can enter an email and we, when we click the send email button, we will be sending email to that email ID. So let's begin. So let's add a path. Uh, we can put it in dashboard slash email path. We are defining a function to handle this request. For now, that function does not exist. Let me add a comma here. Let's go to our views. Add a new function. Tf request. Now, if we are receiving a GET request, we will be showing the form with a send email button. If the request is a POST, we will be taking the email from that request, email ID from that request, and then we will be sending email to that email ID. Okay, keep this in mind. So let us create this template now. In your templates folder, create a new file. So let's build out a form here. Let me quickly build the template. So our form is ready. So let us try to view it in browser. Let me start the server. Let me go into the project folder where our manage.py exists and make sure your virtual environment is also activated. Okay, name send email is not defined we are getting an error that's because we haven't imported that function here even though we have defined it in views.py let's import that as well send email yeah now the server has been restarted it's been running let's go there okay let's go to dashboard slash send email yeah as you can see there is a in input field and then we can try sending email. Okay. Now it is showing us CSRF verification field. So let's add the CSRF field. So we have added CSRF token here. Let's visit the page again, view the page source. You can see the token has been added. Let's try to send an email. Yeah, nothing happens because we haven't defined a handler for handling the post request. So let's do that now. Let's go to views.py. Now we need to identify whether the request is a post or get. We can identify that from the request object that we get as the function argument. That is if request.method equals to post. If the request method is post, then we need to handle the email sending method. For now, I'll be displaying a dummy message that we are handling the post request. So return HTTP response. So let us import that as well. We haven't imported HTTP response. So we need to import that. Post. So by default, it will render the send email template. Otherwise, it will it should respond with the handling post. So 
I am importing that from Django HTTP, import HTTP response. Make sure the server is running. Let's visit the website now. Yeah, we are getting the same form because it's a get request. Let me try to send an email here. Handling post because it's a post request. Now we need to extract the input, the field that came through the post request. So let's do that now. So whatever variables that came through the post will be available in the request dot post. So email equals to request dot post dot get. So this method will get us the so request dot post is a dictionary. So from that we need the email. We can return the email as well. So let us see how that works. Yes, we can see oh, there is a space issue, but still we get the email. So in Django, there are different ways to send emails. So one is through SMTP by using SMTP credentials. Other one is like using an external email service provider such as SendGrid or Amazon SES like that. And there are so many packages in helping to do that. But in our case, we initially we will be testing it through the console. Instead of sending email to the actual user, it will be displaying emails in the terminal here. So instead of actual email, it will display it here. And once we see that, oh, our emails are going fine, then we will be trying to use an actual email server that will be sending email on our behalf. Okay. We need to tell Django that we don't need to send actual emails. Instead, we need to display it in the terminal. So open your settings.py. Here you need to specify a variable which tells Django that we need to use the console as the backend. That's the language that Django uses to tell what kind of email delivery we need. So we will be using a console backend. So let's specify that variable now. Email backend. Which is Django.core.mail.backends.console. So that's done. So let us try sending email now. So come to your view file. So we go to the email. Now we can start sending emails, which will be displayed in the terminal. Bill. There is a function that Django provides us, which enables us to send email very easily. That is send mail function, send underscore mail. So let us import that send email and send mail comes from django.core.mail import send mail okay send mail so for send mail the first argument is the subject line so subject and the second argument is message the third argument is from reply at both application.com and the fourth argument is an array which is the recipient list so in that we will be providing email ids one by one for now we have only one email id so i will put that here email and the fourth argument is fail silently so this means if any error occurs in the email sending process whether it should fail silently which will not alert the user or it should it should not fail silently which means it will be throwing us errors that the email has been failed fail silently false so that we can see any error messages false so let's try that now so let me shut the server down here and start another one so that we can see the email going live i have opened the terminal here I have navigated to the project folder. So I'm into the 
projects folder let me run the server now the server is running let me move it to a side let me move the browser as well now you can see browser as well as the terminal let me let us send the email again send email now it seems that there is a typo in the variable that we have specified we got an error it says it does not define a console attribute class so let's fix that here settings.py ah i forgot to add the email backend here mail backend yes so let's try that once again coming here let me send the mail yes mail sent to and you can see the mail has come here as you can see the mail has been so this is the server message get request and after this you can see subject subject goes here from to date message id and message goes here so this is it guys this is how you send an email from django so this is a very basic example if you want to use an actual email you have to obtain the smtp credentials from like gmail g suite or sendgrid or mailgun and then add it in the settings.py we can discuss that in one of the upcoming videos that's it thank you guys we'll see you in the next video